many of us have gone through life having the odd person uh, mispronounce our names. It may be easy to brush it off once, but listening to it constantly is a challenge for young people, for students. So 10 students from Bishop Viard College in Wellington have created a website designed to help people correctly pronounce Māori and Pacifica names. This, this is really cool. We really want to celebrate it this morning and steer you to it. The website name Malosi, meaning Be Strong, has been up and running for just over two weeks and already has over 700 names available to listen to. Joining us now to share more details about this are the two CEOs behind the website, Bishop Viard College students, Toi Lokini and Manfred Sofara. Look at you, Morena Korua, Malo Lele, Talo Falava. Look at you two. Good morning, thank you for having us. Talo Falava, my Lord, for more, my Lord, you guys are at school, right? Uh, yeah. We're so proud to have you on our program. So, 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 so tell us, I, I suspect you're way too polite to say it, but were you just exasperated by people butchering names, by just people making a hash of it, and you just had a guts full? Um, uh, I, I don't mind. I don't mind it now when they do mispronounce my name, but it was um, a bit embarrassing back when I was younger. Mm. Toy, it's not that hard to say your name, is it? It's only a small effort required. And boy, I mean, well, what do people say? Well, what, what do people call you? Uh, they usually mispronounce it as Toy or Toy. And so, so, so people who live in this country, which is the biggest Pacifica country on the planet, don't know what an apostrophe does in your name? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. It happens a lot, eh? Yeah. Uh, and, but, you know... You say you don't mind, but when it comes to correcting them, uh, tell us why this is so important to you, to have someone actually pronounce this name that was given to you by your family uh, correctly. Um, I feel like it's important to, um, to actually tell them that it's um, probably said as toy because um, it brings respect to, um, to the name that I was given from my, um, from my parents. So, yeah. Where'd your name come from, Toe? Toe? Uh, my name, um, Toy, came from my mom's dad, so they named me after my mom. And, and Manfred, where's your name from? Manfred, I'm in so in awe of your haircut. That's the joy of being a level two, right? <laughs> where, where's, your, where's your name come from? Um, they actually named me after my dad's German friend. They work together in Samoa. So, 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 so the point is, and this is very true of yeah. our Pacifica communities, yeah. is that names often have a, I mean, you know, I, you know, actually, I was going to make, I was going to take, no, don't take the piss out of being called John, which is the world's dullest name, but actually it was my dad's dad's name, and my dad's dad was killed in World War II, so it's, so it's, it has real meaning, and that's the point of your communities, right? Names have meaning. Yep. Absolutely. Mm. So, so tell us about this website that you've created. I went on it uh, last night. How does it work? So um, you can subscribe to our website at um, www.fatmalosi.com. Um, it has a subscription fee of $4.99. As soon as you've um, subscribed, you have unlimited access to what we have on our website. So you can search any name from our database. We have six cultures on our website at the moment. Wow. We have Te Reo Māori, we have Samoa, we have Tokelau, Tonga, um, Kiribati and Cook Island. Like um, John said, we, had over, we have over 800 names now, um, and we're looking to increase this as we add more to it. You can listen and learn from our community, and also use the phonetic um, wording that we've also added to help you further. If you'd love to have your name on our website, and you might have a different pronunciation to, to a name, you can send this through us, our upload page on our website, and we'll get this uploaded for you as soon as possible. Will you be putting any uh, sports stars, like Maori Pacific names in there? Yep, that's the plan um, as we move on. Um, we like to see um, commentators use this as a tool um, for you know, just having um, our Pacifica brothers um, who, who are athletes um, having their names um, pronounced correctly. And, and, and Toy, so the, uh, it's really important to say that once you've paid your initial subscription fee, that's it for good. There's no further charges, is there, right? You are in there forevermore. Yeah, uh, it's just a five dollar, uh, four ninety nine fee um, for um, unlimited access. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's money really well spent. What are you doing with the money? Um, 
Uh, we're planning our business trip at the end of the year um, down to Fiji. <laughs> I love it. The business trip for the two CEOs. Uh, hey, look, I just wanted to play this out. There's a reason why I asked about the athletes. Is we've got so many uh, Māori Pacifica superstars uh, who have public platforms, who have in the past continually had their names butchered and quite often been too shy to correct uh, you know, media or to correct commentators. And that's kind of trickled down into our classrooms where sometimes Māori and Pacifica young people feel too shy to correct a teacher as to um, how their name is correctly you know, is pronounced. And you guys might have had experience in this, but this tool really helps. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. That's all we need to know yeah. about it. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Me too. I, I love the fact that people can upload. So, so people who have had oh, the experience yes. of having their names butchered or mispronounced, or or, or or people who just are often asked, "How do you say your name?" They can load the name into the website, so that everyone. So this is about us all getting this right, right? Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah, we just thought that um, having an upload page um, would be necessary as um, uh, we, uh, the community lets us learn how um, we probably say the name. Yeah. What, do you, what, what year are you and you two? Uh, we are both year 12 students. And so you're staying on next year, year 13? Uh, yeah. 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 And then what are you going to do? You got dreams? Uh, um, uh, at the moment, I, uh, we don't know what we're going to do after school. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know when I was your age. Well, Let you're already running a business. Yeah, to yeah, be I was fair. just going to say, you're running a business. <laughs> you're making meaningful change. You're empowering people and, and making people be seen. So uh, I wasn't doing anything like that when I was your age. So congratulations, you two, and thank you for your work. We are so grateful for the two of you joining us and we really wish you well with your work. 800 people have signed up to this. I reckon we should all sign on fa'amalossi.com. Stay with us, especially if you're a dog lover. We've got an important call for help from Wellington's SPCA.